There are one zero kinds of people in the world, those that understand binary and those that don't. Why is the concept of binary so important? Part two of the answer is next on Binary Tutor. So, after all of this review of decimal and base 5 counting, what is binary? To answer, consider this question. How few symbols or digits do you really need in order to count? Just two. All you really need are two. Zero and one. So let's compare counting in decimal, base 5, and binary. As you can see, the first two counts are the same in all three bases. However, on the binary column, we've already run out of symbols to count with, which means we need to add a position, the twos position. But that will only cover two more counts as the binary ones position runs out of symbols in both the ones and twos position. So we add the fours position. Counting two more times doesn't add another position, but does cause a carry into the twos position from the ones position. And by the time we get to decimal eight, the binary number is up to four digits, known to geeks as bits. Here is a table showing binary from zero to 16 decimal. Note that the binary number is already five positions wide. This leads to a rule. The lower the base, the greater the number of positions needed to represent a given value. Here is a table showing binary up to 100 decimal. The binary equivalent is seven positions wide. Finally, here is a table showing the binary equivalent of 128 decimal. It is a one followed by seven zeros. For people, counting in binary can be tedious, error prone, and boring. But for computers and other electronic gadgets, it is fundamental. Let's finish by summarizing all we've learned. Base specifies the number of symbols used to count with. The lower the base is, the more positions needed to represent a given value. Binary means base 2, 2 being the fewest number of symbols that can be used in counting. No matter what base you count in, any arbitrary value can be reached. While people may find it difficult to deal with binary, digital electronics have no trouble at all. In fact, they definitely translate music, video, conversations, etc. into and back out of binary in fractions of a second. Most people old enough to remember vinyl records, 8-track tapes, cassette tapes, and even VHS tapes can appreciate the advantages of having their tunes and movies stored as binary. These include binary content can be compressed. In other words, made to use fewer bits than uncompressed versions, can be transferred from place to place much faster than normal playback speed. The limit to how fast such transfer can be accomplished is dependent only on the media used to store or translate, transmit the binary content. Allows generational copying. In other words, copying a copy of a copy without degradation of fidelity. This is vital when distributing content over the Internet. Distribution over the Internet is possible. The Internet is packet-based, meaning that whatever the data is con or content, after it is converted to binary, it is further broken down into serialized chunks, which are transferred from a server to your computer. Each chunk may take a different route over the network to your machine. Consequently, these serialized chunks may arrive at your location out of sequence. Programs running on your computer 
puts these chunks into proper order before they are played back. Error checking and correction is possible. No more scratches, fade outs, or other defects common with records or tapes. No medium of transfer or storage is perfect, but error detection and correction can make it seem perfect. I hope this video helped you to understand how important binary is to our technologically advanced times. If you like this video, please leave a comment or even suggestions for future videos.